Hey everyone, Ryan Miller here, and in this video I'm going to talk about getting your hopes up. If you've recently had a goal that you were trying to hit, whether it's a job that you're trying to get, or a certain athletic goal, or any goal in life really, you may have told a lot of people about it, you get excited, you tell your friends, you tell your family, and inevitably, someone's going to say to you, well, don't get your hopes up. Now, not only is this phrase completely useless, this is actually harmful to you. The first thing you need to do when you're trying to achieve a goal is get your hopes up. You need to hope that you can achieve the goal. Hope is a good thing. The problem lies in that many people these days are just not resilient. So when someone's trying to tell you, don't get your hopes up, what they're really telling you is, there's a chance you might not achieve that goal and you're not resilient enough to recover from the heartbreak of failure. So rather than not getting your hopes up, what you need to do is become a more resilient person. Getting your hopes up is one of the most important things you can do in terms of achieving your goal. You need to have hope. You need to have that positivity. You need to think that goal is achievable. In business, they've t spent a lot of money looking at goals and how to achieve goals. And one of the main things they found in the research is that goals need to be attainable. So if you don't have hope that you can get that job or achieve that athletic goal, win the game, whatever, if you don't have hope for that, you're very likely not gonna achieve the goal. So the first thing you need to do in terms of achieving your goals is get your hopes up. And don't listen to the people who tell you, don't get your hopes up. A lot of times that's their own insecurities that they're projecting onto you because maybe they've had failures or they've definitely had failures in life. We've all had failures in life and that's okay. Not getting your hopes up is only gonna set you up for more and more failure. It's living a life of complacency. You need to get your hopes up to achieve goals. Also, what the other thing you need to do is improve your resiliency. Resiliency is your ability to bounce back when you don't achieve your goal. Listen, you're not gonna hit all your goals. If you have hope though, and you do get your hopes up, you will probably hit some and you'll probably hit more than you don't hit. The key to bouncing back is to improve your resilience. It's not about having hope or not having hope. It's not about having expectations or not having expectations. My whole life I've been very frustrated because I've always had high expectations and aspirations for myself. And many people, whether it's coaches, friends, family members, I've tried to temper and lessen my expectations because they didn't want to see me get my feelings hurt if I didn't achieve the goal. Well, rather than not getting hopes up, we need to be stronger, we need to bounce back better, we need to be tougher, we need to be more resilient. Then it's fine if you get your hopes up because you go through that process, let's say it's you're trying to get a job, you get excited, you get your hopes up, you go into the interview and you're ready to crush it. You're so hopeful that you're gonna get that position that you go in there with a positivity and a glow about you. And then let's say they don't select you for the job. Okay, well, you have resilience and you can bounce back and it's not gonna affect you. You're not gonna get down in the dumps. You're not gonna be sad for weeks because you didn't get the job. You're gonna say, okay, that's fine. They didn't see it the same way I saw it and you keep it moving. So here's a few things that you can do to build your resilience. Number one is physical exercise. You need to be working out whether it's yoga, running, weights, playing sports, basketball, soccer, riding a bike, swimming, body weight exercises, whatever it is that you're into, you need to challenge yourself physically. Go right up to your physical edge and then see if you can push past it just a little bit more each day. This is gonna help you build up your resilience and make you a tougher person. What are some other things you can do to be more resilient? Well, one of the key things is Stop caring about what other people think and say to you, okay? If you care so much about what other people think, you're gonna get into that spell where you're not getting your hopes up and everyone's tearing down your positivity, and that's not what we want in our yoga practice, all right? We wanna be nice and positive, nice and helpful, and make sure that you don't let other people influence you in a negative way. Again, a lot of these people are just haters. That's just a fact. And I don't like to be negative in these videos, but a lot of these people just don't have anything positive to say. They don't have anything helpful to say. So you need to start listening to yourself and start looking inside. And that's a huge area where yoga can help. 
whether it's the physical practice of postures and trying to listen to your body and soften in areas where it's tight, or meditation. And meditation practice is huge for listening to yourself and your own thoughts in your own head versus getting bombarded with all these negative people who are gonna tell you everything you can't do, but very rarely do they wanna tell you what you can do. So, in terms of building resilience, it's physical exercise, it doesn't have to be yoga, but yoga is great, it can be running, even walking. Any physical exercise will help you become a more resilient person. And then secondly, not listening to what other people have to say is gonna help you become a more resilient person. And when you're resilient, when you can bounce back from failures in life, that allows you to have hope. It allows you to be a hopeful person and it helps you to get your hopes up. So when you have something positive that you're trying to achieve, whether it's a goal or anything that you're going after, getting your hopes up feels good. It makes the process better. Not only does it make the process more fun and make the process better for you, there's a very good chance that your positivity and your positive thinking is going to help you achieve your goal. And many have said this before me. This is not new thinking. If you read a lot of these books like The Secret, Think and Grow Rich, so many of these books have the same theme. And that theme is your success starts in here. It starts in your mind. It starts in your brain. And you have to say to yourself, I can do this. This is going to be a positive thing for me. This interview is going to lead to a job that's going to enhance my career dramatically. This workout that I do, I'm going to get through this workout. So when I go to the race on Saturday, I'm going to run a PR. All that type of thinking is going to help you. It's going to motivate you. And it's going to keep you going through your workouts, through your studies, through your work, your career, whatever. So to recap, don't listen to the negative people who tell you don't get your hopes up. Yes, they may be well-intentioned. They may just be trying to protect you. But think about it. Do we really need more protection? If you think about people my age, millennials and younger, we've been overprotected. That's the knock against our generation is we're soft in the trophy and the participation generation. So let's change that. Because all the same people that are criticizing our generation for being soft are the ones who have continually told us, don't get your hopes up, don't get your hopes up, don't get your hopes up. And it's very tired, tiring and it's actually very demoralizing. So let's move away from that. I'm not saying cut these people out of your life completely. What I'm just saying is when they tell you not to get your hopes up, just ignore them. Don't argue. Don't even follow up a conversation with them. Just completely ignore them. As soon as you hear that phrase, don't get your hopes up, turn and walk away. Just walk away. You don't need that negativity in your life. It's a useless phrase. It's a harmful phrase. We need more hope. We need more positivity. And we need goals that we think we can achieve. So this has been Ryan Miller Yoga. Don't forget to get your hopes up.